Hi, I'm Joshua Bell, and I'm a concert violinist by profession, and of course music is my life, but just a close second behind music is food. Uh, like most musicians, that's pretty much all we do is play music and eat. Um, and uh, so I thought for my top five, I would list my top five eating experiences in New York, which is the, as far as I'm concerned, the food capital of the world anyway. So, uh, and it's my adopted home for the last 20 years. So. Where to start? I think number one, this may be my fi my favorite food experience. And certainly, if I were bringing a date, I think this is my test food experience. See how how the date would react to the food. If they like it, it's a it's, it's a good sign. Uh, that would be Sushi of Gari um, restaurant. The original one opened on the east side, and then they opened another one on the west side, which I go to most regularly. Sushi of Gari is my favorite Japanese food experience because, and the only way to do it, as far as I'm concerned, is to sit at the sushi bar and have the omakase, which is the chef special, and they bring you one piece at a time, and each thing is a little world of joy, um, and a little bit unusual, and there's no end, so you, t you have to tell them to stop, otherwise they'll keep feeding you until you explode, which is just the way I like it. <laughs> so that, that would be my number, number one, best toro and uni on the planet. Number two, uh, Let's go to steak. I love, I'm a big meat eater. And New York has some amazing steaks. And if I had to pick one, a classic Peter Luger Steakhouse in Brooklyn. And it's nice to include another borough since not the whole, the world doesn't revolve only around Manhattan. Um, so Brooklyn, I like to take my car. It's a chance, excuse to drive my car, drive it over. And the guy watches the car at the front. And the steak is kind of dripping in oil and, uh, um, in, in their own special way, which is, which is just, uh, I think, the best meat that I've had in New York City. Number three, I thought of a, a little more casual place, but a place I like to go for lunch uh, in New York City. And uh, this is a place that's called Hillstone Restaurant, originally called Houston's, um, on 27th and Park Avenue, which is near my neighborhood in Gramercy, um, is, has the best sandwiches, and in particular their artich grilled artichokes is the best I've ever had. And my four-year-old son always insists on going there with me, and we, uh, we, I us he usually gets a, a, a big hamburgers, which is also, it's very good hamburger, but I'll get to hamburgers later. Uh, well, speaking of hamburgers, it's one of my favorite foods. A good hamburger can compete, in my, in my book, with uh, anything else. Uh, and and uh, I tried to think of the, my favorite hamburger in the city, and that's a tough one because there's so many good ones. But one that I like to go to, which is right near Carnegie Hall, so whenever I'm rehearsing and playing Carnegie Hall, I pop right next door, a few doors down, to the Parker Meridian Hotel. Now, you would never expect it, but in the lobby of this hotel, there's this little curtained off burger joint. In fact, it's called the burger joint. It's very out of place, but there's a line out there during, during lunchtime, and the burgers are just old-fashioned, good old burgers with, with uh, onions, pickles, the works, and you can't get much else there but a really good burger. I'm going to end with number five here uh, as the top really refined cuisine that I know of in the city. My favorite restaurant, also in my neighborhood um, in Gramercy, but uh, it's, it's a destination restaurant I'd, I'd recommend from anywhere in the world to come for it, and that's Eleven Madison. It's uh, often rated among the top in New York, and in my book it's, it's the best best uh, combination of refined food but with an atmosphere that doesn't feel too stuffy. The chef, Daniel Hum, is only 30 or, or 31 years old. He's, he's uh, incredible. His take on the old, the classic French cuisine with its own twist is uh, get the tasting menu there and you're just in for a, an amazing journey, a culinary journey. Well, that was my top five eating experiences in New York. It's making me hungry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'll leave with that. And uh, again, I'm Joshua Bell, and I'm a violinist. <laughs>